Hey everyone, Insanity here and welcome to a Minecraft tutorial. I've got something special that I will show you today. This is a cave spider XP farm but it is not just a regular cave spider XP farm. Most of them out there does not let you kill them all at once with one sweep of your sword. Mine? It is a different story. Shout out to the reddit users out there who motivated me to do this video and to those who made an effort and actually followed me there. Thank you, thank you so much. Also to my subscribers that are always supporting my channel, you guys are the best. I just want to let you guys know that and now for the people who are brand new to the channel, be sure to check my other videos and might as well as subscribe to me. Also you can follow me on reddit to know what I will do next. So next clip. Minecraft players know the struggle of making a farm out of cave spiders. It is quite easy to make those as a string farm but as an XP farm it will be annoying to work on. Why would you do an XP farm out of those? My main reason is that cave spider spawners can be found frequently than any other spawners in the overworld. And the realm I was playing on got 3 spawners, all of them are cave spider spawners. And all of them are in range with each other so I was tasked to do such a horrible experience of making those into XP farm. Which brings me to the idea of how I will kill all of them in just one sweep. Now I will show you how my XP farm works, so let's take a look inside this big box right here. This is where the cave spiders will spawn, so when a player is within 16 blocks from the spawner, it will attempt to spawn cave spiders. If they are spawned, the water streams will take them all the way to the middle and will fall down right there, right here, with half a heart left. After that, they will see this iron golem right here, right here, yeah, can you see them? Yeah. and. They will try to attack it but before they know they are taken by this water elevator right here and brings them to the killing cell and here you can kill them with one sweep. Yep. So we are here in a brand new world and I located this cave spider spawner. We are now gonna work with this so if you are in survival I suggest that you should bring two water buckets and a ton of torches because without those you will be dead like for 10 seconds. Yeah. For 10 seconds now what i want you to do is flood the place up with water to get rid of the cobwebs and try to place torches around the walls or around the spawner before it tries to spawn spiders you should probably brought a or you should probably probably bring a bucket of milk to notify the poison that you got from those pesky insects now what i want you to do is to count four blocks three four five and on the fifth block you place a torch like that and that will um, serve as your marker. So let's go here, dig, and count one, two, three, four, and place your marker and a torch on your marker. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's correct. Yeah. Now what I want you to do is to dig, 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 dig dig until those until to those marker you want to leave your wall like this so you can create your um your spawn what you call this spawn chamber yeah that's what i will call them spawn chamber now you should have something that looks like a lot like this so now what i want you to do is to dig two blocks down so let's remove these two layers of um, stones right here and like and see it in the next clip now that we dug it all down we should put a block here before we forget that now what i want you to do is place water buckets in the corners and next step is i want you to get your fence gates and place it like this and now i want you to place fence gates like this So the next step is dig a 3x3 three three hole um, 14 blocks from this point right here. So 1, 2, and you know the drill. You just dig 14 blocks below. Now what I want you to do is to place balloons all the way like this. And now let's um, you call this? dig a 2x3 two three trench right, like this. 2x3, two 2x, three, two, two it's a, my god my tongue. Now what we're gonna do here is dig a 2x3 
on top of us and two by three just two by three and two by three and two by three and two by three you get what i mean right and now two by three again here and two by three again here so what we're gonna do next is place signs like so and here and here and do we need to yeah right there mm, no oh yeah two by three there and let's fill this thing up now what i want you to do is place an iron golem in this two by three thing here get a carved pumpkin and golem you're gonna die let's push him a bit there you go and now what i want you to do is go right up to the top now we're at the top i want you to do is to block this part right here and let's dig all the way down like this chip chop chip chop chip chip chop chip chop chip chop 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 and now you can remove these blocks so let's go back down again and if you're in survival you cannot do that now what i want you to do is to fill or to put soul sand here first where's the soul sand soul sand like this and let's get a water bucket and fill this thing up with water this um hole right here now let's um fill this hole with water I think you can do this in survival you just gotta type your coordinates and stuff like this and yeah I think you can do that in survival I don't know but the point is I want you to fill this hole with water but up until up but up until to this point what's with my mouth dude now what I want you to do is dig a 2 by 3 trench that is 5 blocks long and let's start by placing a chest right here and at the back of the chest we're gonna place hoppers but going around like this not like that but like this okay now let's um do this what am i gonna do oh yeah we're gonna get a wall a stone brick wall and do it like this and a fence that are gonna, that are gonna be placed at these spots right here now what I want you to do is is to dig right like this yeah dig like that and place blocks that are going like this and place these temporary blocks that I dug and don't break that because it will break everything now what I want you to do is go here and go here let's stay here and place signs like this and your blocks like this and put your um eh, there you go put a brick wall there and now we're gonna put a water source there and there and that's our killing cell done so now we're gonna remove this remove and we're all done let's just dig there and hope it doesn't break anything and yeah there you go done now before we forget we should put a light source at the side or at the cell of the iron golem so let's just put it like right here yeah i i'm allowed to do that Let's put it right there. No, no, no. I want to put it right here. So, whenever the cave spider is here, they can see the iron golem. But if the light level is not, it's not like, I think it's, it's nine. 
if the light level is 9 or higher, it means that the cave spider is neutral and it will not be hostile. Ho? Yeah, I, I said hostile. It will be hostile to the iron golem and it won't attack. So we, we really need to do that in case. And I want you to break these signs right here because it is so unnecessary. Now look down at the hole. Can you see that part where the cave spiders can go in? We need to go here and dug a hole for ourselves ah, there you go and dig down so we can go to this killing cell right here now what I want you to do is the scary part of this process what you need to do is to break all of the torches around the spawner and hope you should not die because you're in survival I'm not and let's cover this place up there you go now we got the cave spider spawner xp farm done and dusted so yeah let's dig this dig this dig this and there's a lot of cleaning stuff we need to do let's make this room mo looks more look more spacious and stuff right like that okay i think it's all done let's get a sword Where's the other spiders? Why is this jumping up and down? Okay. The other spiders are here now. So we are here to kill them. So let's um, take the effect or the strength effect. Effect. Give clear. Insanity. We cannot see anything. That's good. And let's get a glowstone and put it there. And let's get a sword. No, again. Let's get a sword to kill these things and test it out. After a while, I've got this um, pile of spiders here. So I can test this um, XP farm out. Yeah, they are all one hit. And yeah, yeah. This is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that is everything done. It is a very fast tutorial, but I think I've done everything right. Good luck on your XP farm out of cave spiders and have fun with it. If I miss something, don't be shy to tell it in the comments. Anyways, the farm is done and it's time to say goodbye. Please like the video because every Minecraft player needs to know this. Share it to your friends or server mates and subscribe to me for more videos like this. After that, hit the notification bell and as always, thank you guys for watching. Bye.